Hi guys, this lesson focuses on water and food placement in our dysphagia management series. For better understanding of our series 6, I will advise you to go over series 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of the dysphagia management process. That will give you an insight activity 1, water placement using cup. Position the patient, place the cup over the lips, maintain the lips closure, why patient load water into the mouth during the loading process patient elevate and abduct the shoulder for maximum reach as seen in this video cup remain within the lips while you encourage the patient to swallow observe the iod bone elevation during the swallowing process to be sure that the water is passing through the right direction after swallow Encourage shoulder depression and adduction, followed by lips open and the patient can safely remove the cup. Activity 2. Water placement with spoon. In this process, encourage posterior lateral placement of the water, followed by lips closure and passive swallow or active facilitation by the therapist. During this process, encourage the patient to take a repeated swallow after the first swallow. This will assist the patient to clear the remnants of the water that may be left over after the first swallow. Minimum of 2 to 3 swallow and maximum of 5 is enough to clear water lodge. Activity 3 Food Placement Techniques this process involves placing the food on the posterior lateral corner of the mouth, lips closure before chewing process. Patient has to chew while the lips remain closed. If the mouth is open or the lips is open at any time, that gives room for food to escape and that increases the chances of patient aspirating some food particles. Pay attention to the iod elevation and depression during swallowing process. Encourage the patient to take a repeated swallow to avoid retainers of food within the mouth.